Hello students, welcome to K12 Aspire. In this video, we are going to see about the probability. I will make it easy for you to understand. Don't forget to subscribe our channel, then only you can get all the notifications. Okay, let us have a great session today. The term probability measures the degree of certainty of the occurrence of all the events. So this is the definition for probability. Now next one, an operation which can produce some well defined outcomes is called an experiment. And the collection of all or some of the possible outcomes is called an event. So these are the three important Terms we need to learn in this chapter. Okay. So let us go to the formula to find out the probability. So probability equal to that is nothing but P of E equal to number of outcomes of event in the in the E. I mean whole thing divided by total number of outcomes. Yes. So the formula tells us P of E is equal to N of E by N of S. Next thing, complementary of event. <laughs> it tells us about the, the event that is not E. So this is E. If you take this event as E, then complementary of this event, E will be not E, isn't it? So that event is called the complementary of events. Okay. So, P of E plus P of not E is equal to always 1. So, addition of these two, we are going to get it as 1. In this result, we can arrive some more results. That is, P of E is equal to 1 minus P of not E. Yes. And also, the value of probability P of E always lies in between 0 and 1.
So this probability always lies in between 0 and 1 and sometimes it, it is equal to 0 and equal to 1 also. So if probability of E equal to 0 means then it is an impossible event. How we will explain with the, one example. Uh, the probability of getting the number 8 in tossing a die. So, is there any possibility to get the number 8? No, isn't it? So, this probability of this particular event, that is, it is impossible. So that's why this is called an impossible event. So next one, if the probability of particular event equal to 1 means, then it is a sure event. Okay? These are the two important terms we need to study here. Sure event. So, let us take the example probability of getting 4, the number 4 in rolling a die. Okay, surely we, are, we, are, we can get, that is 1, I mean 4 will occur in 1 time. So, 1 by 6. Here, the 6 denotes the N of S. That is total uh, outcome. Whereas yes, we can say it is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, isn't it? So N of S is equal to 6. And E is equal to 4 only, isn't it? That only we need. So for this N of E is equal to 1. So that's why we are getting this formula as P of E equal to 1 by 6. Some, some special sample spaces we are going to see. Sample space is nothing but the total collection of all the outcomes in an event. So a die is thrown once. Then S is equal to already we saw S is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That is N of S is equal to 6. When a die is thrown twice, so S is equal to, the pairs will come like this. 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 3, etc. up to 1, comma 6. The same way, 2, 1, 2, 2. Okay. So in this way we can arrive 6, comma 1, etc. up to 6, comma 6. Isn't it? These are the Total outcomes when we are, when a die is thrown twice. So here, n of s is equal to, if you count all these, we are going to get as 36. Suppose a coin is tossed once. A coin is tossed once. Then s is equal to what? Head and tail. Isn't it? So here n of s is equal to 2. So these are the some special sample spaces.
if a coin is tossed twice. Now we are going to see if a coin is twice, tossed twice means what is the sample space? So these are the total outcomes in this sample space. That is H H H T T H and T B when the coin is tossed twice. So here N of S is equal to four. Suppose a coin is tossed three times. So yes will be. H H H H T H T H T H H T T T T T H T H T H T T. Now N of S is equal to eight. So these are the some other special sample spaces we have seen. Next part, we are going to see some of the examples here. See this question: Which of the following experiments have equally likely outcomes? First event: The a driver attempts to drive a car. The car starts or does not start. So here we need to explain like this: The since the car 
may or may not start, isn't it? Thus the outcomes are not equally likely, isn't it? So we need to give the answer as the outcomes are not equally likely. So this is the answer for the first question. The car starts or does not start, this which implies that the outcomes are not equally likely. The second one, a trial is made to answer a true or false question. The answer is right or wrong. What is the probability? We need to find out here. Okay. It is known that the answer is to be either right or wrong, isn't it? So here itself it is clearly it is given. It is known that the answer is to be either right or wrong. So the outcomes right or wrong are equally likely to occur. So the answer for this second question is the outcomes are equally likely. So in this way you can understand these terms. Like not equally likely and equally likely. Is that clear to you? Okay. Next question, which of the following experiments cannot be the probability of an event? So first one, A. 2 by 3 it is given. For this, the probability of an event cannot be, I mean it can be in fractional form. That, that is, here if you divide these to 2 by 3 you are going to get 0. 6. Isn't it? 0 0.66 it will go like this. So surely it is an even. I mean the probability of we can get easily. So it can be the probability of a sure event. Next 1 point minus 1.5. So um, always the probability of an event cannot be a negative. Isn't it? So it, it, it is not a probability. So this is a Probability. Can possible, can be possible to form a probability here. For this it is not possible because it holds minus sign here. Okay, next one. In percentage it is given. So, if you change into a fraction, definitely you are going to get 15 by 100. So, you are going to get 0 0.15. So, always we know that the probability lies between 0 and 1 or equal to 0 or equal to 1, isn't it? So, it forms, definitely it forms a probability of an event. Okay. The last one, you can see this one is 7 by 10. If you change this into a fraction, you are going to get 7 by 10. Obviously, it is also a probability. Is that clear to you? So, in this way, we can find out the whether these experiments cannot can or cannot be the probability of an event we can find out.
see this question. If probability of E is equal to 0 0.05, then what is the probability of not E? So always already we know the formula P of E plus P of not E is always equal to 1. So this thing we are going to use here. Okay, from this I am going to substitute the P of E value here in this left hand side. That is this is nothing but as per the question 0 0.05 plus P of not E. That only we are going to find out equal to 1. So P of not E is equal to 1 minus 0 0.05. So, if you find out the subtraction of these two, you are going to find out the result as 0 Next question, a bag contains 3 red balls and 5 black balls. So what is the probability that the ball drawn is? First one, we need to find out the probability of getting a red ball. The second question, we need to find out the probability of getting not red ball. Okay. First, the solution I am going to write it now. So here the total number of balls. We need to find out that is 5 red balls and 5 black balls. Sorry, 3 red balls and 5 black balls. So 3 plus 5, you can get 8 balls. Total number of balls is now we have got 8 balls. So first for the first question, to get the probability of getting that uh, red ball, I am going to find out now. So for red balls, so P of red we can say. Okay. So, number of favorable outcomes, whole thing divided by total number of outcomes. This is the formula we need to write first. And then number of favorable outcomes is, what is that? To get the red ball, how many red balls are there? Three. Three chances are there. Total number of outcomes? Eight. So three by eight is the answer for this question. And for the question number two. So not red they are asking. That is P of not red. That is equal to one minus three by eight we can find out. Using that formula P of E plus P of not E is equal to 1, isn't it? From that formula we can arrive this result. 1 minus 3 by H. That is 8 minus 3 by 8. That is 5 by 8. So this is the answer for the second question.
Next question, a die is thrown once. Find the probability of getting a prime number. Here the sample space we are going to write down like this. Sample space is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. So n of s is equal to 6. Isn't it? That is number of total outcomes is 6 we have found out now. Now for prime number, how many prime numbers are there? Let it be the event of E. So prime numbers, what are they? 2, 3 and 5. So that only we need to write it in this set. That is events, prime number, getting the prime numbers. Now N of E is equal to 3. Now we, we are going to find out the probability of getting a prime number. P of E is equal to N of E by N of S. That is equal to 3 by 6. Then we can further, it can be simplified, isn't it? So 1 by 2. So this is the answer for the getting a prime number. Suppose if you ask to find out an odd number. So for odd number, what are the numbers are there? 1, 3 and 5, isn't it? 1, 3 and 5, okay. So, n of e2, we can see. Let it be e1. So, this one is e2. So, n of e2 is now again 3. So, p of e is equal to n of e by, I mean e2, divided by n of s. So, you are going to get again 3 by 6, that is 1 by 2. Okay. See this question. One card is drawn from a deck of 52 cards. Find the probability of king of red color. So first we need to understand what are all given in a card. That is total number of cards. How much? That is n of s. Here itself we can write n of s is equal to total number of cards equal to 52. Okay. Now I am going to write down the number of red cards. Is 13, isn't it? The same way number of black cards is also 13 into 2. That is 26 and 26. Okay. So now we are going to find out the king of red color. So in all the um, four designs will be there, isn't it? So let it be one, two, and one, two. So here the three, four. So there are four designs. 
So in first design, we are going to have number 1, that is yes. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and king, queen, jack. So totally there will be 30 cards. In this way, we can proceed like this. So in all the four cases, the king will be there, isn't it? So 1, 2, 3, 4. But here they are asking as red color only. So only two chances are there. So n of e is equal to 2. Is that clear to you? So two chances are there to occur in red color. King of red color only two chances are there. So, okay. so p of e is equal to n of e by n of s. So 2 by 52. Further it can be divided into 1 by 26. Okay, the next question. Getting a face card. See, face card is nothing but this one. Yes. So, there are four chances. So, N of E2. So, if you take it as an E1, I am going to take it as this one as Getting a face card as E2. So that is N of E2 is 4 now. So P of E2 is equal to N of E2 by N of S. So 4 by 52. Okay. So that is 1 by 1 times 13 times. So 1 by 13 you are going to get. Yes, this is not a face, and it is change it this one. Here, yes card, that is number one. 